She's got her gloves on. She's using her nose to get into her phone. Crap. Here we go. Just some kind of... Whoa! Went down. I'm up. I'm okay. <laughs> You are watching Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. Well, today, wife and I are going to try out some new trails. Stay conditioned with the packs. Stop for a little lunch. Just enjoy nature. So, stay tuned. There we go. Alright, these are the Brenton Timber Trails. And it's just a series of different loops we can take, so let's go check it out. So at the parking lot, there's a map with the different blazes for which trail is which. I think there was about four different trails, loops. Four so, or five. Beautiful timber, though. It's the equestrian trail as well. We're gonna check it out. Weather's a little iffy, but whatever. It's Iowa. Oh, hey, I got a frog tug in my bag. You got frog tug? Yeah. Good deal. I have a poncho. I do not. This one's the red leaf, so this is the grandfather trail. We'll check it out. Gnarly oaks. Check out these oaks. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Barely. Gnarly. She's got her gloves on. She's using her nose to get into her phone. <laughs> Perfect. There. Okay, we're going to check the map. <laughs> Big buck scrape. Might see some deer today. Water source. Beautiful timber. The wood duck trail. The turkey tails. Really nice trails, actually. Beautiful. Crap. Nice. Clear fresh water too, and it's dry as it's been, so more than enough water here. Check out this buck scrape. Big one. Pretty cool. All well, these blowdowns are really cool looking or cut downs. Must have been cut, but not down to the river bottom. Check out the size of that widow maker. Big and
You never really know what you're going to get into when you find a new trail, but this is pretty impressive. Huge, vast river bottom. It's really cool. The river's just not too far away. It's huge. Probably wouldn't want to walk this on a really, really windy day because this looks very recent. A lot of dead, dead ash trees. And there's some pelleated woodpeckers. Usually the octagon or the rectangular holes. South Skunk River. Well, that's a long way down there. Cool. Oh, it's nice and clear too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go trail a ways and find a spot to have lunch. We're both starving. That's what we're gonna do. That's fine, as long as it's food. Beaver about got her laid down, the old hackberry. That's pretty impressive. trying to block the path. It's beautiful. Awesome though. Got my little field chair I made. I'm not gonna use it because we've got a nice log here to sit on, but it goes right in the pack, pretty handy. Ramen, green beans. Perfect. Smokies. That's gonna be good. Uh Sun's about to drop behind the ridge and it's getting chilly, isn't it? Yeah, I'm cold. It's cooling off. Oh, what a timber. Look at this. Who knew Iowa? And she made dessert. Sweet. Ooh, what's in there? Nuts and junk? Oh. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got it. Mm. 
Nothing else on it. <laughs> Shut up! No! Mm -mm. She's always giving me a hard time about taking pictures. She was taking a picture of her back. Right on. Let's do it. <laughs> See if I can do this without you. There you go, Malcolm and Mitchell, your photo moment. Both small business people like myself, so I proudly support them. Good quality gear. All right, heading out. Gotta head back up the ridge now. Had a good lunch, dessert. Mm. So, and it's getting pretty chilly. <laughs> For all you those that uh, don't fo don't follow me on Instagram, this is my tri stick walking staff. We get bored here in Iowa sometimes. All right, to the blue duck. Blue duck. to do this. I'm up. I'm okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it doesn't make the <laughs> sound like when you go off on the road. No. <laughs> B-roll. Oh, I just see, yep. Yeah, big buck running on that ridge over there. He's a nice one. Just so it's down. There's no hunting here, by the way. Yeah, it was a dandy. Well, once again, this is one of those situations where the camera does not do it justice of what it really looks like. That was pretty impressive. One thing I like about winter hiking too is you can see you know, through the timber in the spring and summer, you can't, all you gotta see is a trail because it's so overgrown. You can see all the way through, a long way. So we'll probably come back this winter for more when it snows. And definitely in the spring, because I bet this place is popping in the spring. Pretty excited about that.
pretty treacherous. I know. I got them. Let me throw you a lifeline. <laughs> All right. Good job. According to my wife's Fitbit, we did 5.6 miles and that wasn't even the outside loop, so it's a good walk. Highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Glad you guys came along. Like it, share it, subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't. Like and share this and we'll see you next.